Hey, Ricardo, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So we're here uh, on the Norman booth, uh, and we, we've heard about the MT48, and uh, you're with the originating company, the Swiss company Emerging, right? Exactly, Emerging Technologies in Switzerland, and now we are part of the Sennheiser and Neumann group, and we, can, we work together on this union interface here. The MT48. So, at the heart of it, it's very, obviously very high quality uh, HD and D2A. That's where you're heading for with all of this stuff, right? Exactly. We have very high quality of dynamic range and quality of the preamps here. It's a dual preamp topology. Uh, so, we have two preamps here, big preamps, and we have a line and instrument here in the front also. So, what other connectivity have we got? I know we've got network. At the back, so we oh, have a, a balance XLR outs here. TRS balance out and we have MIDI or GPIO, GPIO for foot switch or to trigger a recording light by example. We have ADAPT IO SPDIF here. We have Ravenna AES67, so AES67 protocol for audio over IP. Uh, how many channels will that do? That, that can do 256 channels. And this can handle routing of it, can it? The, the thing is the mixer, built-in mixer, in the device is a 48 channel mixer so you can redistribute you, redu you can redistribute those io and then at the back you also have the usb data port and you have the usb power here and you have a kensington lock here also and the power of the power switch. So I noticed there's a fan on the side or is that just ventilation? There's a fan here one side here the fan only would start in critical condition. The unit uh, can be can can be working works without fan, so it, it never should start. There's different fan mode. If you would want to it on, you can put it on, but you can leave it off forever if it, at the same time. So I, I, we can't look at the touch screen. Is it a touch screen interface as well? So there's a touch screen here interface. The on the, on the interface, it's a it's a digital mixer, and in the mixer you have a full channel strip. So you will have like say the preamps access, then you will have the EQ section, dynamics. In the dynamics, we have gate, compression, and limiting. And then we have a parallel reverb also below that. And we have the rest of the channel fader strips, and then the link, the group, and, and the renaming, the coloring of the, of the channel strip also. So basically. Is that stuff automatable? Can you access that, those parameters from external, or does it have to be done by the touchscreen? No, you can access them on the touchscreen. Well, the great thing about the touchscreen is it's 100% standalone also. Right. So you could use it as a mixer and connect things here and have a foot switch to, sh to change setup snapshots. But if you want a larger screen, we have, you just connect it to the system and you have a web access ah. and all the things, the parameter can be controlled full screen on your Mac or PC system. And can you access them via MIDI or OSC or anything like that as well? Not today, no. but Soon. we are, we are, uh, it's something we would love to, to, to bring in eventually. So, I mean, all of these features, I mean, obviously, I think some people might be surprised because it's a premium product, right? It's a beautifully made thing. Yeah. And it's about, I think it's 850 in the US. Yes. Uh, available in about a month, maybe, something like that. Yeah. Uh, but tell me a little bit more about the mic preamps because they've got some really impressive specifications. Well, the mic preamps, uh, it's, a, it's a topology uh, that's a dual preamp topology. It's 32 bit, it's uh, very high quality. Uh, and it, it has a great dynamic range, so uh, it goes to 136 dB of dynamic range. And then also what's very nice about the preamps is you have full control of them here. You can, you can uh, by example, we have a, tri a triple pad, uh, we have a dual pad or we have a low cut, variable low cut. So you can go 40, uh, 60, 80 hertz. And, and uh, you, you also have features to link the preamps together, the parameters, so you will have to see the UI to understand the, inter the entire integration of the preamps within the device. Yeah, just like to add, we can't go in here at the moment because you're demoing the surround system in there yeah. as well, right? So, yeah. uh, so the preamps, you said 32-bit, is that is that like 32-bit float? So you can send a lot of signal into it and it'll just handle the It's rate. integer and there's reason why it is. I don't think we'll go into the details no, technology, sure. but there are very good reasons for it to be on okay. the preamp stage. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Ricardo. Pleasure. Thank you.